What is going on guys to evolution here and we are back with some more of the grand tour series on the island map hopefully you guys are having a great day so this episode we're actually gonna be heading over to scorched earth and we're gonna be doing some mantis taming and i am very excited about this we've got everything that we need we've got some death worm horns we've got some bug repellent and i've also got the dire bear army on me just in case we do a little turkey farming we'll have to see how that goes uh, but we're going to head over right away here. So if you guys find yourselves enjoying this video at any point, remember to smash that like button because it seriously helps me out. It really does. Also, if you guys are interested in some extra content from me, you can always check out my streaming channel. Link will be in the description. I'll also put it in a pinned comment. And uh, yeah, we just stream a bunch of games over there. Have some fun. Relax. That kind of stuff. It is pretty chill. All right, we are now in Scorched Earth here, so let's go ahead and see if we can find some decent level mantises. And we're looking for a male and female, because of course I want to do some breeding. I want to get some OP imprinted mantises. And so far, the luck is not great. Not good. Are there any more in the area? It does not look like it. Oh, okay, we got a 156 mantis and... That's about it. I kind of want to go for something a bit better than that, though. We can always come back if we don't find anything else. Ooh, there's a red drop here. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. It better be good. I don't really want to deal with uh, you, though. So if we can kill you, that would be great. Beautiful. Is there anything else in the area that's going to ruin my day? Doesn't really look like it. Everything else is pretty far away. And, oh, we got some Ascendant Scuba Leggings. That's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. And there's some more Mantis over here. Are you any good? No. No, you're not. Oh, there's another red drop. Is it my lucky day? It seems like it is. Let's grab these before the Scorpions tear me to shreds. Oh! A Mastercraft compound bow, yes, please. And an Ascendant Bronto platform saddle. One more red drop here. There seems to be a lot in this area. I did not realize that. And wow, that is a drop and a half. Let's not talk about that. Let's just move on. Okay, we're still looking around for a decent level Mantis here. And there are two... No, they're both not great. Come on, game. Give me a little bit of luck here. We've been searching for quite a while. And we got some more over here. Are you guys going to be amazing? Oh, you are going to be amazing. Okay, a 174. I will take that. And then a 24. And was that also a 24? And a 24. Okay, so the other ones could be better. But a 174 is more than good enough. So let's just kind of deal with stuff in the area so I don't get absolutely destroyed. We might just bite this guy. Using the breath is not the best idea because it can kill us. So we're just going to eat you like that. And then... Oh no, there's a vulture going on there. Um, Do we want to deal with the vultures? I feel like we probably should... Oh, they're getting killed. Maybe we're okay. Let's just leave you here. And let's go ahead and throw on our bug spray. Let's throw our horns here in the slot. And I'm not exactly sure if we should kill the other mantises first. And then kind of just de-aggro this one. You know what? We're going to do that. Because once we tame it up, they're going to attack and it's going to be a huge disaster. So let's just clear the area as best we can. Just like that. Oh, I can't bite behind me. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's loop back around. Which one is it? Uh, okay, so it's the one on the left. That's what we want to kill. Let's do that. There we go. And uh, now we're going to fly 
nice and high in the sky, get you to de-aggro, and then we'll come back down and do an actual tame. Okay, we should be good here. Let's head up to this guy. Pop a little water there. And you're going to be my friend, right? You're not going to aggro? I hope I have enough uh, death worm horns. I'm not actually too sure how many this is going to take. I'm assuming four or five. Maybe less. Can we walk up to you a bit faster? Oh, this is so scary. This is very... Very scary. Come here, Mantis. Easy does it. Okay, don't turn like that. We're just gonna come right up to your butt. We've gotta be close. I eat it, but it didn't work. Okay, that's not too bad. 30% with one. So it's gonna take us four. And now we wait for the next feed. Okay, we've got another feed here. This is going to be our third feed. So we just have one more, and then we can go on the hunt for a male mantis. Oh, oh, it aggroed. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to aggro you. I don't know what I did. I looked at you. Let's just go up. Let's just go up. I really hope that didn't reset our progress. I guess we touched the butt there. We got too close. Oh, our bug spray ran out. Just then. I wasn't even paying attention. Well, I should learn to pay attention because that would probably help. Okay, it didn't mess with anything. We're okay when it comes to the taming. So we'll just have to concentrate and make sure we have bug spray on. Okay, here we go. We've got our last feed. Let's go ahead and do that. And you're perfectly taped up. Let's pick you up and let's move on out of here. Okay, so we are on our hunt for mantises here. And uh, there are three mantis right outside the border. And I have no idea how that's even possible. But it seems to be a thing. Not much I can do about it. They're just there. Can I maybe aggro you guys? Because I'm kind of curious on what levels they actually are. Can I shoot you? No, I just... I can't do anything with them. There's literally nothing I can do. Not a single thing. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh, another red drop. It's my lucky day. What are you gonna be? Oh, those are actually decent Ascendant Fur Boots. I will take those. Not too shabby. Okay, we found a 174 male Mantis. That's exactly what we're looking for. So let's kill these other two real quick. That way we don't have to worry about it. And we should probably kill these Vultures as well. Okay, let's go ahead and run up to this mantis and start the taming process. Please don't get upset with me. We have bug spray on. Everything should be good. Let's do a little bit of a crouch here because I'm afraid. Put that in you and um, I guess we'll wait for the next feed. All right, we've got the last feed here on the mantis. So let's go ahead and tame you up and get out of this super dangerous area that we're actually in. Grab you, and I don't want you near me. Little snake. Do not mess with me. Okay, we are back on the island map here. We've got the mantis out, and we can go ahead and get the breeding going. I'm kind of curious what the egg is going to look like, but I guess we're going to find out soon enough. Okay, this egg is going to pop out any moment, and is it going to be amazing? Oh my goodness, it is very green. That looks strange. It's too cold to actually get incubated, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe try and make some torches here. We probably could have done this in the hatchery, but we didn't. All right, we got this egg incubating now. So it's going to hatch any moment. And I'm pretty sure we need spoiled meat for the babies. So let's go ahead and just pull a bit of that. Assuming we have some, we should have a ton. We do. Let's just grab maybe that stack of 600. 
That should be more than enough. And there we go. Our first little baby mantis. Oh, it looks amazing. I love that blue belly. Does one of these have a blue belly or is that a mutation? That might actually be a mutation. Okay. Well, I'm a big fan. And it is. Ooh. Our first ever mantis baby and it's a mutated one. I can't exactly complain about that. Come on over here. We've got another egg down, which should hatch. We might as well hatch a bunch of these. And you want care in 10 minutes? Okay, we can easily do that. Throw a little bit of this in you. All right, we've got the mantis here fully grown and imprinted. And we are ready to take it out to see exactly what it can do. I love the colors on it. I think it looks really good. And I've also got some tools and some swords on me and the mantis ghost costume that we got from halloween so let's go ahead and throw this on Ooh, forgot how good it looks let's go ahead and head out here and see what it can do so let's maybe just attack this packy with our regular attack so we do 133 so not bad not too shabby and then we have our right click which is a jump that does 315 damage that is very good. Are we able to harvest anything with the regular mantis? No, we cannot. So let's go ahead and throw on our first tool here. Let's start with the pick. Let's not go into our inventory. Let's try the mantis inventory. That should be a bit more helpful. So we've got these out. How much damage do we do? 162. Okay. So an improvement. And 500 for the jump attack. That seems crazy to me. Let's check out how much flint we can harvest with this. Oh no, there's a super turkey there. I don't want to deal with the super turkey. I don't think we'll do very well on the mantis. Ooh. 162. Okay. That seems like quite a bit of flint. Oh, we're just tearing it up. Going through the rocks like nothing. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. Oh, don't fall off. I don't want to do that. How much flint are we at? We're at 2,000 in that short amount of time. Wow, this is definitely the way to gather flint. Way better than Anki's. Way faster than Anki's. Can confirm. Super happy about that. Let's maybe head up to these trees here and see how good it is at gathering thatch let's just jump on over there sorry parasaur you got in the way Ooh, it's very good at gathering thatch as well 1600 from like four trees not bad not bad at all let's head down here so we can get some more going that is a cool looking super turkey let's just grab these trees here maybe Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. The only thing is the weight on them is not super amazing. I wish it was a bit better. Let's go ahead and check out the hatchet now. Let's see what this thing can do. Let's start with some wood. Ooh, okay. So we got 374 wood from that. Let's actually just drop the inventory. Let's grab that pick. Let's drop you. There we go. Now we can actually move around again. So some trees we're getting about 300. Some we're getting 200 from. It is very quick. I want to say it's almost better than the fairy. It seems like it is. It seems very strong. And when we're not weighed down, we're definitely moving a lot faster than a fairy. Let's go ahead and drop this again. We're also getting attacked. Can you not? How much damage do we do? We do 280 with these. That is a big improvement. I think the picks did like 162. And we're doing 280. That can't be right. Oh my goodness. That is very, very good. Kind of curious about the jump attack. Let's just kill everything in the area for a second. 
Let's jump at you. 425. I feel like we did more with the picks. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's how far we flew. Yeah, we came short on that. Let's try this trike here. Came short. Let's get a run up. Nice little turn around here. No, we did 425. Okay, am I missing something? Did we really only get that much? Let's put these back on. Just for a moment. And we did 500 with those. Okay. And we do 242 damage. Might have been a mate boosted creature that we hit before. Not too sure. So the hatchets do more damage just with the regular hit. But with the jump hit, the picks do more damage. So that's good to know. Uh, what about stone? Let's drop our inventory before we go crazy. Let's drop you. Let's get in here. Ooh. Oh, that is very good. That is a lot of stone, but it is super heavy. I can already tell we're weighed down. Much faster than the Dodicarus, though. Can confirm. Just being able to move around on land like this is great. Again, if we just were to pump like a bunch, a bunch of weight. This could be super good for harvesting. All right, how much stone did we get in that short amount of time? 5,600. So, uh, I'm happy. That's putting a smile on my face. Okay, let's go ahead and try our last tool here, the sickle. Let's start with the jump attack. We do 468 with that. And then our regular swing. We do 321. Okay. Maybe we don't? That was probably mate boosted. Hang on. 321. So better than the hatchet and the pick? That, uh, that seems pretty crazy to me. I would assume the hatchet would have done the most damage. I guess I'm wrong. So that's very good. And can we harvest anything with the sickle? Probably some fiber. Lots of plants in the forest here. So let's just do a little bit of this. Oh, that's not super great. I mean, it's okay. Like, we're getting a good amount of fiber, but I'm pretty sure we can do that just on foot. Maybe even better. Hang on, let's throw this on our bar. Let's pull out the sickle. Um... I want to say it's better on foot. Maybe not, because the Mantis can move a bit quicker than us. But this is pretty good. We'll call it a tie. It's not amazing. It's not bad, though. And let's go ahead and throw on our swords and see exactly what these can do. If we go to the Mantis inventory, that would help. And, oh, these look good. These look very, very good. Very intimidating. What can we do against this Parasaur? 549. Wow. That is pretty good. We've got another Parasaur up here. I don't really want to fight anything that's going to fight back. We've got a Dillo. I guess we could use this. 400 with the basic melee attack. And this sword isn't even good. It's only a ramshackle and it's only 150% weapon damage. So if we had like an amazing ascended sword... We'd probably be doing close to a thousand damage, I feel like, with a melee swing, which is just insane. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the Mantis. It can harvest like crazy, it does decent damage, and it is very quick. I 100% want to get some Super Mantis going as fast as possible. So we're going to be doing a bunch of breeding, and I cannot wait to uh, see exactly what a fully mutated Mantis can do. It's going to be amazing. Let me know what you guys think of the Mantis and its potential in the comments below. And you know what, guys? I think that's actually going to be it for this video. So remember to smash that like button and remember to subscribe if you guys have not already because it seriously helps me out. And yeah, have a good one. See ya.